Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. I'm trying to be a slipped back ponytail girly. I feel like I typically like put it back, but I don't like slick it back with like hair oil and stuff. And I just did that. I don't know if it's working for me. I've always been self-conscious of my ears. I've definitely grown into them, but I feel like when I was younger, they were bigger and I never liked my hair behind my ears. It always just made me feel super self-conscious. So this is kind of bringing that back for me, but I'm in the phase of I don't care and I'm owning it. We don't have time to be self-conscious, do we guys? We don't have time. Anyway, I'm gonna keep it. It has been raining or cloudy every single day in December. And I'm not even kidding you. For today's video, I planned rainy day activities with Sage, my one-year-old. I kid you not, I grabbed my camera to film. Do you know the sun comes out? Now I don't wanna sit here and complain about the sunshine, you know, but I'm like, really? Of all days, we had literally 15 days of rain and clouds. And today's the day you're gonna choose to have the sunshine come out when we're doing a rainy day kind of video? I know, who cares? It doesn't matter. We're gonna do the activities anyway. I think the plan will be to run to the store and buy crayons because we don't have any in our house and then potentially look at other little things and activities for Sage to enjoy and play with. They have this really big piece of paper that a company sent me that has like a design on it and you can pick a bunch of different designs. For me, it doesn't really matter because Sage is one and she doesn't like care about anything yet, but it would be a really great idea for older kids too. She's only colored once for like five seconds at the classes we go to. So I'm like, why don't I just grab some crayons? We're gonna be needing them in our lives anyway and pull that paper out and just kind of let her play and have some sensory activity with the crayons and the colors. We could talk about it and just see if she likes it for more than two and a half seconds. She's 13 months, so she's out of like the baby stage, <laughs> but she's not like a big toddler yet. We've been in the phase of just letting her play around the house and explore and literally just play with things in the cabinets and just everyday items that we're using. She never seems bored, so I'm not worried about that. I'm just trying to start new activities we can do together at home. I was thinking, why don't I let her sit in her high chair, watch Miss Rachel on the iPad. She's only watched TV twice <laughs> in her life, like a kid show. Clark has had football on and that kind of thing before, but she doesn't watch TV right now, and I know that it's coming. I'm avoiding it as much as I can right now, but knowing that that's going to be a thing in our lives, of course, I'm gonna limit it and you know be careful of what she's watching and try to find things that are more of like the slow form movement and things like that. But that's a whole other thing. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Miss Rachel is educational and it helps them learn to talk and just learn words and colors. So I'll start to kind of implement that maybe a little bit. And since she's been teething really bad the last couple days, she has molars coming in. And I don't know about the top, but I saw on the bottom, she already has four teeth on the top, four teeth on the bottom, but the two on the ends on the bottom I saw coming up. So I don't even know how many teeth, but she has several teeth coming in at one time. And I know those molars are really, really tough. So I remembered that I have this little thing from Hakka where you just put the food in and then freeze it and then, or you don't have to freeze it. You put food in there and then they just can gnaw on it. So it's good for babies that are just starting out with food or teething babies. And I haven't even thought of this. You can put breast milk in there and freeze it. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put banana in here and freeze it. And then I'll find some way to clip it to her because I know she's gonna throw this. This girl literally throws everything. <laughs> Actually washing the curtains that are usually right there right now because she threw her <laughs> smoothie last night and green smoothie splattered all over them. So that's fun. So I figured it'd be something fun and different for her to do to sit and on this, let her gums feel good and then watch Miss Rachel. So we'll do that at some point today. some of your pasta with your soup? Yeah? That sounds good, huh? And then, do you want some apples? And then I have your smoothie. Okay, does that sound good? This girl is obsessed with holding fruit and eating it like this. This will keep her occupied while I get the rest of lunch together. Huh, that's good, huh baby? Yummy. 
I've made this potato soup so many times, it's so good. And I've been taking a little bit of the soup, adding it to her pasta for a little flavor, and she has been loving it. This is the chickpea pasta from Bonza. Apple. Isn't that bad, bad? Apple. You just said it a minute ago. Apple. <laughs> That's the stem. This is the best invention ever. Love this thing. I feel so bad this poor baby was in the car screaming in pain and holding her mouth like this I've never heard her cry like that she literally couldn't breathe it was so extremely sad huh <sighs> that was stressful I'm gonna open the thing that we're coloring on the company is Cherry Creek Lane and obviously the theme does not matter for her age right now because she doesn't know the difference Wow this is so cool babe She's in the phase where she just loves to take things in and out of something, which is very common for this age. It's really good for their minds, apparently. Um, so she's just taking the crayons like in and out of the box, which is totally fine. Nala's still hanging half off, and I don't understand why. What are you doing? You want to be involved, but you don't know if you're allowed? Yeah, you can be here while you play with Sissy. It's okay. Yeah, you can be right here. I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping dinner. I'm gonna make some chili tonight. So I have these onions I need to use up, and I'm gonna do a bunch of dark kidney beans. <laughs> Sage is in the pantry playing with the waffle maker. <laughs> I'll do a ton of garlic, and then for spices, I'll do like onion powder, chili powder, garlic powder, and then I do like to add some chopped up walnuts. That kind of sounds weird, but it actually makes it very good and kind of gives it that meat-like texture to it. And then we'll do some green pepper and I'll do two, oh, I guess these are different. Oh, okay, well, these are both organic tomato soups and they do not have any milk in them. So this is my go-to. Oh, you found the bottles that you've never used in your life. You wanna use them now? Yep, this girl never took a bottle. Nope, never took a bottle her whole life. <laughs> she sipped on one for like a minute when she was like a month old and that never happened again. <laughs> oh, yeah, you don't know how to do it, do you? <laughs> yep.
much, Miss Rachel. And have a little bit of frozen banana for your teeth. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mama. Mama. Clap it. Mama. Let's sign it. All right, so since dinner is easy, I like to make things difficult on myself and more work for myself. <laughs> but I'm really craving this applesauce cake recipe. This is the cake my friend made me for my birthday. It's so good. I don't have cashews to make the icing, but that's okay. I think I'm gonna have a little bit now and then freeze the rest for Christmas. It is the perfect cake. If you have to bring anything for Christmas, make this. Clark is gonna be home soon, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to knock this out. That'll be my motivation to hurry and get this in the oven. I'm also making some baked potatoes to go with the chili. So I have to wait for those to be done before I can put the cake in anyway. But yeah, let's go ahead and make this cake. out so good the texture is perfect and it's not very sweet the icing would add a little sweetness to it but I didn't have the cashews to make it it has the perfect texture it is so good I highly recommend making this for the holidays I'm probably gonna go ahead and freeze the rest of this to have for Christmas <laughs> 